I wanted to give you guys a very good tip uh, of a mess. Uh, this mower, I thought it was locked up. This is the results of people not caring for things and enjoying my bad habit. There was a PTO sitting around here. Now what I just did with it, I have no idea. How, how much for preparedness? Here it is. You guys that like to wash your mowers off uh, all the time, uh, like every use or whatever, washing is not necessary every use on a lawn tractor. This is a Deer LX172. It's kind of a sought after mower. If you've ever had one of these, these drive like a Cadillac. This is like the Cadillac of mowers uh, that Deer came out with in the 90s. Uh, she sat 16 years. This has been sitting. Uh, some crack addict got a hold of it uh, in a nearby town and put it on Facebook Marketplace. I found and tracked down the original owner because of something I found underneath the seat of this tractor was a receipt with the name Michael Claiborne. And Michael was all the way out in Center County, Pennsylvania. And the guy that I bought off bought it off of, uh, he says, Christ, I sold that mower. Me, he said it was pretty new. He said it was maybe only three or four years old. And this is the results. Uh, the guy, uh, th this Barry that I bought it off of down here uh, near Weatherly, PA, he tells me uh, it, it's been sitting forever and he just wanted to get rid of it, $100, because the motor seemed like it was locked up. These PTOs, when they don't turn, it's froze. You can usually turn them or they'll have a little bit of play or spring. This thing is frozen solid. So it probably shorted one cold winter morning. Uh, that's why you don't wash your mowers off like that. And you guys that like to wash them off and put them away for the winter, you're going to get yourself a surprise like that. Uh, same type of surprise. It's not going to be a pleasant one either. Not at all. Uh, second thing is, you guys that don't like to cover your equipment that has to sit outside, I've got a few tractors. They sit outside here. And when the tarps go to hell, or whatever, I get a new one. All these caps have a vent hole in them. And if you don't believe... about separated fuel, that's all moisture, that's all water that the fuel's rejecting. So I don't know how this carb's gonna react, it's probably gonna have to come off. I'm gonna try to start it this way after I change the uh, oil. And that is the taco truck over there groaning and moaning. That is not uh, a sick animal in the background farting and gurgling. Uh, he did give a tune-up. So I don't think, I, I think the vet gave it a, a clean bill of health. It doesn't stink. Well. That's your mower tip is to check your tire pressure because that's another thing that makes motors blow up uh, or if something's not right. That $40, $20, like $25 for one of those heavy-duty tarps or $15 like I pay for them at Ollie's, it's going to cost you a $1,000 tractor or one hell of a bill with a guy like me. It takes a lot of time to take these machines apart. The one thing I like about the LX172, the LX178s, 176s, uh, and even the 170 series, the engines are very simple. The Kawasaki motors in design. The 170s, when you get into those decks with those little hook hangers I think I exemplified that in one of my videos uh, that can be a little bit nightmarish um, take your time with your project I don't I'm up against the wall I got a bill to pay and I'm we're gonna work like hell because I've had other things happen uh, something always decides to break and cost me another freaking bill and I've got a roof to put on here I just got so much I'm, I'm just up over my ear balls I call it ear balls eyeballs and ear balls you get over uh, over exemplified uh, we don't have, for the self-employed people, we're not, we're not going to have a very good picture with uh, Joe Biden in office. Uh, there's a lot of customers, they canceled. Uh, that was construction work that we were supposed to do, and it's not happening. Now, mowers, mowers are selling like hotcakes. Used ones that are in good condition, or they look like they're even good condition. People will spend the money, no matter what, well, I wouldn't say no matter what price, but if... I, got, I just put new tires on this, I got all new belts for it, and this did not come with a deck. The deck was bent, the one that he had, so he hit something with this. So I have no idea if I'm going to get more surprises with this thing, but 
I put tires on it. The trans works and seems to work, and it seems to work pretty good. Uh, as much as I spun it around or whatever, I'm going to take the body off, paint the body, and I have an LX172 that's an enigma. This is something that is an enigma, absolute enigma. I got to show it to you. Like my LX172 up there in the background, or unlike it, that's got a perfectly pristine hood, both sides. Both sides of this are in good shape. This was washed, waxed, and cared for, just like the guy talked about. Now, this is what you'll get when you have a guy that cares for a mower. I put this one together, what, two years ago it was in a video? Some of these videos sit on my camera cards till I, when I don't have something to say necessarily, but that's a well-cared-for tractor. And I, I made a video on how I repaired this hood and put sheet steel it still managed to crack a little bit, but it's still good enough. I should actually put that hood on her, but I'm not that interested. Troy built, uh, we got another 17 horsepower. That needs a cam. That's coming back out, but that's a simple project. I can't have disabled mowers that I've got to push and move out of the way when I've got to cut grass. I can't have them all over, and I don't like it looking like a shit house. So we're going to clean this up and power wash it down. And then we're going to get cracking on, on fixing things that are broke. And one of those things is i got to call deer and i got to get the uh, throttle. I try to make them look like new when people pick them up. Or they're not going to pay the money for them. But that is your uh, lesson from your Pennsylvania Dutch uncle. When you let this stuff sit outside and it's uncovered, it, you're going to get surprises come you know, spraying. And now the tractors are in short supply, you figure people would have a little more brain power. I don't think they do. So that is my video for the afternoon, and you can have another good look at it, and you'll see it when it's done. It's half-assed there. It's getting it running now. Those Makuni carbs are hard to come by, and so were the, the rebuild kits. They really, the rebuild kits, I think, were about $100 for those little carbs. So I'm going to try to get you back on the, uh... yeah, I'm having a good time today. Fumble fingers. We're going to change the oil, like I said. As soon as that fires and it comes to life, my thing is to let the, the oil heat up inside the engine. I let this engine heat up and, and do its thing for a little bit and get to an idle. And then I let it simmer maybe another 15 minutes. I won't run it at an idle any longer than 10, 15 minutes. Or when it's blaze hot out, I won't let it more than 5 or 6 minutes. But this time of year, I'll let it sit maybe 10 minutes so it gets good and hot. Then that oil, it's no longer like a sludge. You, you can pull the pan. A car in a junkyard, especially something that's val valuable, I'll change the oil two, three times. If that engine has compression and it starts doing its thing, I'm going to take that new oil out because nine chances out of ten, sludge and dirt's going to come out with the, with the fresh oil that you just put in it. And then I'm going to change it a time after that one, after the next one. So they get about three or four oil changes, just like I did that uh, one truck that I dragged home. Because there's so much bullshit in the bottom of those motors from them sitting. Stuff blows in through the, through the breathers or people take the breathers off and it goes down through the valve cover. And you're going to have a piece of junk. So i got to pick up all my toys here. I'm one of those kids, I just scatter stuff all over. But I was kind of extra excited once I found out it was just the PTO was locked up. Because I thought it was another motor job and Jesus, you know, that costs money too. Sometimes that's why these tractors go into garbage. Because they don't have a deck. They need belts. They need a battery. They need tires. It, it, you might as well just buy a new one. But these are worth saving. I'll put the money in them. And if I ask $1,200 for it, it's not too much money if somebody knows what it is. But a lot of people, they don't know what it is. Or they're just limited to a price, and that's what they want to pay for it. Um, price does dictate what people buy. That's kind of the maneuver that Biden's up to, jacking all of our prices up so we buy the cheap Chinese shit again. Uh, I got news for those quits. I hate Biden. I hate you, Harris. I hate you, Nancy Pelosi, with the bottom of my heart. You're scumbags, every one of you. You're the lowest dirt that we've ever had in this in this presidency yet, besides that piece of dirt Bush and his old man, okay, and Obama. They were all creeps all along, and we got another creepy crawler in that White House. They need to get out of there, guys. All right, I'm going to do my job. Oh, there's the taco truck again. Like I said, I'm wondering if he runs that on taco sauce. All right, enough.